In today's video, I'm going to show you a nice trick that I always use when I create characters for Cartoon Animator 4. And this trick will ensure that my characters are rigged correctly. So stay tuned. Hey guys, my name is Ion and welcome to my Start Animating YouTube channel, the channel that is specifically aimed at everyone that is new to animation. And if that is you, welcome, you are at the right place. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and also click on that little notification bell so that you can get notified every week when I upload a brand new video. And if you are new to animation or you're starting out or you don't know where to begin, well, I've got some great news for you. I created a online video training. It is absolutely free and in this training, you work alongside with me and you actually create your own animation. And by the end of the video, like I said, you will have your own animation. You'll know the basics uh, like keyframe animation, etc. And you'll have enough knowledge to continue your journey to, uh, to go and create your own animation. So if that sounds interesting to you, make sure in the description box below there's a link. You can just click there and you can go and sign up. And then um, also if you are new to animation and you want to learn more, I've got my community on the Start Animating website. Um, so again, also in the description box below there's a link. Uh, the free plan is open so you can sign up. It is absolutely free. There are paid plans but they're not open at the moment. I only open them once or twice a year. Um, but you can join the free plan so long. Now today I am going to show you a little trick that I use when I create my own characters inside Cartoon Animator 4. Uh, you can use this also in Cartoon Animator 5. And this trick really helps me to make sure that my layers are correct because if your layers aren't correct Cartoon Animator 4 will read your character wrong and nothing will work and also this will help you to make sure that your um, pivots are set correctly as well. Um, so if you follow this and you create your own characters then obviously your characters will work 100% when you import them back into um, Cartoon Animator 4. So what do I do is when I go to Cartoon Animator 4, you will see I've got a character here and this is actually just a dummy. So let me quickly um, go back. And um, this is actually um, where I want to be. So this is a character and if you go to Content Manager and you go under Characters, um, G3 Human, in this folder you can go down and you'll see there's some dummy characters i depending if you're going to create a front character you will then upload your front view of this dummy and then if you're going to do a side character then you um, um, use this side dummy now for this instance i'm going to use a side dummy so i've dragged it here you can see it here um, so i select it and then here at Composer Mode, I click there and then I will go back to where I was, Composer Mode. Okay, so this is basically where you create um, your character. Or well, you don't create your character here, but this is where you definitely test your character and see if everything works um, the way it should. So what do I do? Um, again, I will then click on this PSD, Launch PSD Editor. So what will happen is it will take this character and it will export it to my graphic designing or drawing software. In my case, it is Clip Studio Paint. In your case, it might be Photoshop or any other software that you use. And um, then basically what I do is uh, once that is um, exported to my drawing software, let me open it, then you will get this. Okay, so why do I follow this route? Well, for a few reasons. First of all, here at the side you will see all the folders with its correct layers. So for instance, here you'll see the front hair layer, mouth layer, nose, ring, uh, right brow, and then also the same with your um, body, left hand, left arm, left foot. So your folders or is already created the way it should. You don't have to manually create everything because I remember um, before you could link up your drawing software with your um, with Cartoon Animator 4, 
Uh, before you could do that, you have to do it manually and you'll have to create these folders manually and it was a nightmare. There was always a mistake that slipped in and your character didn't work the way it should. So this is a nice trick. Okay, so everything is, the folders are uh, created correctly and now all you need to do is you can now um, go to the top, you can create a new layer, uh, let's say new raster layer at the top. And then what I do is I'm making everything hidden and then I draw my character on this layer, just a rough sketch. And then what I do next is, let's say for instance, when I need to draw the face, I will then go to the talking head and my face, um, let's see if we can find it, face folder, I can then click there and I draw my face um, there and then the left ear, I draw the left ear in the left ear um, folder, the left eye, the right ear. So I draw everything then in the correct folders and then that will mean that Cartoon Animator 4 will read your character correctly um, it knows exactly where to find everything so and then once I am finished I can then just go and I can delete um, that drawing um, layer that I created um, because that is just my rough sketch I can delete it and then everything is sorted and um, you will have your character so let me sh quickly show you a character that I did um, so this is a character that I created and um, you can see the folders are all correct. Um, so there's all the left hand, there's the left hand. So as you can see, everything is in the correct folder. Uh, let's go to, he doesn't have front here. So let's, if I take everything away you can see until only the face is left that is the face um, so as you can see everything is in the correct folders and then some of the folders for instance your mouth you can create additional folders it will come with custom folders already when you import that dummy character but you can create um, additional so this yuck is one that I've created additionally so let me um, show that one to you so there is that sprite um, so you can create custom folders inside of um, like for instance your mouth your hand sprites and your eye sprites etc um, so that is something that I like um, to do to create custom sprites for my mouth as well Okay, so now your character is done, you uh, are finished um, designing it, everything is in the correct folders. Um, then the next thing you need to do is you need to make sure that all these pivot points are at the correct place. Now if I go back to this one, you'll see here is all the pivot points. Okay, um, so now what you need to do is um, you'll need to drag all of them to its rightful place. Um, so you can see there is the toe, right toe, so I hope you can see it moving. So you place everything where it needs to be. So there's the right toe again. So you'll see that um, all your pivots here um, will be at the wrong place after you've finished your character and then you just need to drag everything into place and then the same obviously with your head um, head bone so for instance right ear it needs to be placed there and say mouth needs to be placed at the mouth etc so you need to make sure that your pivot points are also at the right place otherwise if you're going to animate your character um, your whole character is going to be off. It's not going to function correctly. And then also with the joints, you need to make sure that the pivots at the joints are um, perfectly aligned. Um, otherwise, your joints, your arms won't move correctly as well. And basically, that is just a tip uh, or 
a trick that I use. I actually import a dummy character from Cartoon Animator 4 and all my folders and pivots are already imported correctly and then I just draw my character and make sure each body part is in its correct folder and then another thing is make sure the way I work is I have a black pen for the outlines and then I have I will another layer color it another layer maybe some shading and another layer say for instance with the hand um, some details like the um, the nails etc thumbnails um, you need to flatten that you can't have different layers inside a folder so um, what I need to do is I need to flatten all my layers inside each folder um, then it will import it correctly so guys, that is just a quick tip. If you're creating your own characters inside Cartoon Animator 4, this is a great uh, great tip that you can use to make sure that everything is um, correct, all the um, folders are correct, and also you have all your pivot points that you're going to need um, for Cartoon Animator 4 to read your character correctly. Otherwise, you're going to struggle. Your character is not going to work the way it should. So guys, that is it for this video. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Just another thing, um, I do have an um, online course um, on creating characters for Cartoon Animator 4 where I go more into detail. Um, this Tomorrow is Black Friday. So I do have a promotion on. So if you use promo code Black Friday um, at checkout, you can then um, get 50% on anything on the website um, so it is all my online courses and also I do have some cartoon animator 4 characters that you can purchase as well so everything um, that is from the start animating website um, is 50% discount so for this Black Friday tomorrow so if you want to purchase this course at 50% discount um, make sure to use that opportunity so guys for me that is it i hope you've enjoyed this video let me know in the comments below if you have any questions regarding creating your own characters um, inside cartoon animator 4 this is how i do it um, maybe everyone uses a different method i'd love to hear from you how you do it let me know in the comments below so from me Eon, i will see you guys next week with another video god bless and happy animating